wonder. Zoshi has come to say goodbye. Bye-bye, everyone. Hi, everyone. My name is Zoshi. I'm back. And you can always stay active throughout the lockdown. Uh, you can play with your friends, but keep your distance. Like me, my friend. Yay! And you can also talk and sing to be active. Until next time, bye! Welcome to my zone online school. My name is Teacher Precious and I'm with my friend here. Say hello. hello. The theme for this week is public transport. And before we start, we want to sanitize our hands. Let's sanitize our hands. We rub inside and outside then we spread out our hands so that we don't touch the person next to us and we also do it in front okay and always when you are going out remember to wear your mask in today's lesson we are going to talk about number patterns, doubling, halving, number names, and ordering. Let's turn to page 3, where we are going to count in tens. And this work is for grade 2, but grade 3s you can also follow for revision purposes. And before we start filling in the missing numbers, we want to count in tens. And I'll do it with my friend here. Let's start from 10 to 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Very good. Okay. Another easy way of remembering the missing numbers is to start by writing our numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 10. Then we just make a follow-up, adding zeros. You see here we have 10, 20, 30, 40, until you reach 100. Now we want to fill in the missing numbers from our booklet. And let's go to A. We have 10, then 20, and there's a missing number, and we go to 40. To make it easy, we can, all, we can come here. We have the 10, we have the 20, and this number is missing. So it means 
this box, you fill in 30 and then 40. You can do the rest on your own. B, C, D, E, F, G, and H from your booklet. Let's now turn to page 4, where we are going to fill in numbers to complete the patterns. This work is for grade 3s. And in filling in numbers, there are some rules we need to follow. At number 1, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, then there is a box, and 12. How do we know the numbers that they are adding from the first number to the next number? I'm going to show it on the board. We said there is a 2, there is a 4, we have 6, 8, we have a box, and a 12. Okay. First, we want to check the number between 2 and 4. How many numbers did they add? So we say 4 minus 2 to get the numbers which were added here. So if we say 4 minus 2 equals 2, 2. So it means they were adding 2. It's a pattern of 2s. So it's from 2 to 4 is plus 2. 4 to 6 is plus 2. 6 to 8 is plus 2. Then 8 to which number here? So we say 8 plus 2 because we are adding 2. What is 8 plus 2, my friend? 10. 10. Very good. So the missing number here is 10. Okay. I'll do number 4 with you from our booklet. We have 18, 15, we have a box, we have another box, then there's a 6 and a 3. If you look at these numbers, you can see that they are counting backwards. We must always take note of that grade 3s. First, we want to check how many numbers they added from 18 uh, from 18 to 15 going backwards. So it's 18 minus 15. Okay. 18 minus 15 is 3. So going backwards means we are subtracting. So in this case, we are subtracting three numbers. Okay, let's now. So 18 to 15 minus 3. Yeah, it's a 3. 18 minus 15 is 3. 15 to which number? We count backwards three times. 15, 16, sorry, 15, 14, 18, 12. Okay, so here is 12. We come here, minus 3 going backwards. So 12 minus 3 is 9. Okay, 9 minus 3, uh, 6, then the last one is 3. This is how we do our number patterns. We have a different concept 
at number seven from our booklet. Number seven from our booklet. Let's check. We have a nine. We have 13. We have a nine again. We have a box. We have nine. We have 13. Let me write it on the board. Nine, 13, nine, a box, nine, 13. Okay. In this case, we are just following a pattern. Nine, 13, nine, 13, nine, 13. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, let's now turn to page five, where we are going to talk about doubling. This is a grade two week again, but grade threes you can join in for your revision. Doubling means adding the number by itself. Let's say we have the number eight and we want to double it. It means eight plus eight. Then we have the number three. It means we must add three by itself and it will be three plus three. Then we have a zero. We also add it by itself. So it's zero plus zero. Then we go to the number five. Here we say five plus five. Now I'm going to show you the correct method of doubling grade twos. We have eight here, so we put our two circles. We put eight dots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We put again eight dots in this circle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we put our plus here. Then we put our dots together. We count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So our answer is sixteen. We go to number three. We also put the two circles. Okay. We put three dots. One, two, three. We put three dots in this circle. One, two, three. Then we count them together. Put our equal sign. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then our answer is six. We move on to zero. We have our circle. We have our circle. But because the number is zero, it means there is nothing. So it's zero plus zero. It's an empty circle and an, an empty circle. So there's nothing and our answer is zero. Thank you so much. Now you can do the work in the booklet following this method. Let's now turn to page six where we are going to talk about halving. Halving means sharing things between two people. Let's say we want 
to share 12 sweets. We have our 12 sweets. Let me draw the sweets for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we want to share the sweets between my two friends, Tom and Jerry. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. We give one to Tom, one to Jerry, 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 one to Tom. One to Jerry, one to Tom, one to Jerry. So it means Tom will get six and Jerry will get six, six as well. And let me show you another method, the last one. We just draw a line. Now we want to share our let's say 14 sweets we count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen this line shows how so in this case, we have seven sweets this side and seven sweets the other side. So Tom will get seven sweets. Jerry will get seven sweets as well. That's all about halving grade twos. You can now turn to your booklet and do the remaining work. Thank you so much. Let's now turn to page 7, where we are going to talk about number names. This work is for grade 3s, and uh, before we start matching, we want to know how to write these numbers in words. First, I wrote the numbers here, from 1 to 7. You must know the correct spellings. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you need to practice and know the correct spellings. I also have numbers here from 10 to 100 in words. When you want to write them, you take, I want to give an example here. Let's say you want to write 35. You take your 30, because you know the spelling, you put it here. You take your 5 from this side, you put it here, grade 3s. So the number 35 will be like this. And don't forget to put this line. It's very important. So in words, it will be 35. Okay. Let me give you an example of 100. Let's say we want to give an example of 143. So this is what we are going to do. 
I'll put my hundred back. I'll take my one. I'll put it here. I'll take my hundred. I'll put it here. Then I'll take my forty and I'll put it here. Okay, let me remove this. Then I'll take my three. So this will be your number. And don't forget to put the line. So this is 143. You put end. One hundred and forty three. Now let's go to matching. I'm going to match with my friend here. Come quickly in front. Okay, you can move and stand there. Okay. Can you match the numbers? Six. Very good. Twelve. Well done. He did it well. So from your booklet, you can now finish the other work. Thank you so much, Great Trees. Let's now turn to page eight where we are going to talk about capacity. And on this topic, we are going to order and compare different containers. I'll use different containers from the table where I am. I have a cup. I have my sanitizer. As you can see, the cup is bigger and the sanitizer is small. So when we are ordering them from big to small, the cup will be the first one followed by the sanitizer. Now there is work in your book with different containers. You can see a teapot, a cup, in some other different containers, you are going to arrange the different containers from big to small. And you indicate with numbers from one to six, which one is the biggest, followed by which container. This is what you are going to do on page eight, grade twos. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for today. And before we move on, let us sanitize our hands once again. Let's rub. And we stretch so that you don't touch the person next to you. And we also do it in front. Remember to social distance. And every time you go out, remember to wear your mask. Before we move on, let me call our friend Zoshi to say goodbye. What is social distancing? Hi everyone, I am Zoshi and I am back. It literally just means that you need to stay home all the time and keep away from crowded places. And remember to keep your distance from your friends too. Everybody stay safe. Yay! Till next time.
it. It's interesting to see if we have a look at John 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In other words, what I see drives me to go out what I say. And I believe this is the goal of our Bible school, to teach me to see. And I dare to say what you see must change your heart. Because you cannot move out if you don't have a changed heart. By the word of God, everything is created. God wants you to speak the word so that things can be created. Say to your neighbor, created. Will you wash your hands with me? I want to wash my hands with you. Come on, I will show you what to do. Wash your hands, wash your hands in clean water. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wet them with the water. Wash your hands, wash your hands, now add some soap. Scrub your hands, scrub your hands in the soap and water. Scrub above and below between the fingers too. Scrub under your nails and scrub a dub a doo. Rinse your hands, rinse your hands, rinse your hands in water. Rinse them clean, rinse them clean, rinse away the soap. Dry your hands, dry your hands, dry your hands and go. Akili, why do we wash our hands? To wash away the germs! Akili, what are germs? They're like tiny little bugs on your hands, and they can make you sick! But you don't see any germs on your hand. That's because they're so tiny that you can't even see them! Oh wow! I want to wash the germs away. Will you wash your hands with me, Akili? Wash your hands, wash your hands, wet them with the water. Wash your hands, wash your hands, now add some soap. Scrub your hands, scrub your hands in the soap and water. Scrub above and below between the fingers too. Scrub under your nails and scrub a dub a doo. Rinse your hands, rinse your hands, rinse your hands in water. Rinse them clean, rinse them clean, rinse away the soap. Dry your hands, dry your hands, dry your hands and go. Great job, Haruma! Can you tell me the four things we did to wash our hands? I can try. One. Wash our hands with water. Uh-huh. Two. Put soap on our hands. Three. Scrub, scrub, scrub our hands all over. Uh-huh. Four. Rinse our hands clean with water. Wash your hands, wash the germs away. Win free airtime with hashtag learn on one. Share your comments on the lessons. SMS your feedback, name and town to 555. Hashtag learn on one. Invite learning in.